everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you've never been here before, hi, welcome to my channel. So, if you've never been here before, welcome to my channel. My name is Evie, um, and today we're going to do a um, makeup tutorial. Basically, is my 10-minute um, slash in the car work makeup when I work in an office, um, which I'll be doing this summer. So, yeah, so it's really exciting. And um, so I did extract some uh, acne earlier today and it's still red as you can see. So let's get started. I'm going to have minimal editing on this thing just because like I want to show y'all it's only going to take like 10 minutes to do and I think it's less than 10 minutes. So first up I'm going to start with this e.l.f. primer. Hold on. This nice e.l.f. primer. I'm just going to do one I'm going to put it all over my face. No rhyme or reason to this whole thing. And then this sounds like actually like an oxymoron type thing. I'm going to take the HD mattifying primer. I'm going to put that on top in like my more oily areas. And remember, I'm doing this to like last all day for work. So yeah, and I like how there's a little mirror on this one. You know? It's cute. So, once we're done with that... I'm going to take, where is it? I'm going to take my Cover FX Blemish Treatment Concealer right here. I'm going to take this out again to put it all over my blemishes and stuff like that. Um, and where I'm red, and obviously right now I'm really red. So, yeah, I'm doing that before foundation actually. Which doesn't sound right, but yeah. I can't, honestly, I can't find this concealer all over the internet like to link it for y'all but like I bought it from Sephora so I can't imagine why I can't find it on Sephora's website or even cover FX's website um but it was like over a year ago so yeah and I do like it quite a lot um it covers a lot like in the brand name which is great so this is wondrous. So I'm going to go ahead and blend that in with this e.l.f. brush I have. It's a powder brush. I use it for like almost everything. It's not too big, not too small. I'm just going to kind of blend it in. But this is just so I look alive during the day and I don't scare off anyone. Well now it looks like I'll scare some people off with all these blotches of lightness. But then I'm going to take right now, oh, let's blend that in a little bit more than it is. Then I'm going to take this, I've had this for a while, it's the L'Oreal Infallible um, foundation. And yeah, so I'm just going to take it, put it on my hand. I'm not, this looks like a lot right now, but um, I'm not going to use any more than this, honestly. Um, and most of it just ends up in the brush. So, yep. And this is actually a matte one. Uh, it's supposed to, yeah, it's supposed to be a matte finish. I don't know exactly because I usually put like a highlighter and stuff on top, but it's really nice and I like it. Um, it's a nice alternative um, to very high end things. So, like, half of what I'm using right now today is like drugstore, half is. High end, I'm sorry about that. Just get used to it. It's just my thing is like I'm trying to partially oops, partially be like affordable makeup and stuff, but at the same time like I have certain things I want to use the end of, so yep. Try to get this everywhere. Kind of like an even tone over my skin. Eyelids too. Here we go. I'll blend a little bit into my neck and everything. There we go. Nice. And then what I'll do next is I'm going to take this super fluffy brush from e.l.f. again. And I'm going to take my air spun and just put it all over um, quickly just to set the foundation and concealer. Show off. This kind of sets everything in. And yeah. So now we need some definition. 
and I need to look more alive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Tarte Pro Glow to go. Little thing. I'm going to take the bronzer and I'm just going to do its thing. Digging this brush uh, quickly. I'm going to do it. And there's a mirror inside so it's a little bit easier. Yep, so this is super quick. Good. Quick bronzy moment. I'm not doing like a full on contour and highlight stitch. Because in the mornings, uh, you just ain't got time for that. <laughs> Especially when you're in a rush. And you can't be super precise because you're in a car. Goals. So now what I'm going to do is take the same brush and I'm going to kind of wipe it off of my hand because who needs to use 5 million brushes? So now what we got, hold on, let me see if I can, okay, here we go. We've got this Tarte little plush thing I got in, when I bought Tarte they like gave me this blush. So when you spend too much money somewhere they give you free stuff, right? I'm just going to lightly dust that on my cheeks. It's an exposed. I like their blush quite a lot, and I wouldn't have a mad. I wouldn't be mad about it if they asked to sponsor me. Just so you know, because their products are quite pricey. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this fluffier brush and I'm gonna put this all over my eyelids, um, because I'm gonna use. All these products I'm using, I'm using all over my face, rather than having a whole another eye palette and a contour palette and everything. Oops. This one, it looks very similar to the other one, but it's a little bit different. So, I, really, I just like to do a fluffy brush because then if you're not using like super, if you're, you don't have an official look to it, it's a lot easier, so I like this. Look at this. This looks a little bit more natural. And then I'm gonna take the contour again, and I'm gonna kind of put this in my corners and everything like that. Just very quick sweep. And then, um, Yep, so it's not very precise, but it's also really natural or, um, like, effortless looking, like not super over the top and super relaxed. So then I'm going to take a little bit of the bronzer with this brush and put it on my nose. There we go. Hopefully that did something on my nose. So, yep. And that... The eye look literally took them, like, if I didn't talk to you guys and everything, it would literally take less than a minute. So, um, that's awesome because some eye looks for some people take, like, 20, 30 minutes to do more, maybe, even. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and close this up because I'm done with it. Actually, no, I'm not done with it. I need to use the highlight in it. And my mascara. I love this mascara. And again, I can't find this on the internet, but I love the wand so much. Here, I'll show you. Look at that. And it's super easy. It takes like two seconds. Because you just go over real quick. And it's not over the top. It's like very subtle. That looks pretty good. Um, I really like this mascara. It's super quick. You don't have to do so many layers because you just go over because how awesome the one is. And then what I'm going to do next is take that same fluffy brush we were using before. 
from the uh, eyes, I'm going to take, actually, let's try this highlight out. I, only, I usually use the more pink one, but let's try the yellow one. I'm just going to do the highlight. Um, nothing too intense, but nothing too small. And then I'm going to take what's left on my brush. I'm going to blend this in in just a second. In case you're like, what the heck did you do? I'm going to take a little bit and put it on top of my eyelids. Just to add a little shimmer there. So we're using basically all these products, like most of these face products, in different ways. So, um, in the scheme of things, if they're like initially expensive, or not so much because you're using them for different things and they're being pretty versatile. Um, take it from me, who's like super cheap state. I'm gonna put a little bit of highlight here just because just wanna accentuate the contour. Alright, my last, I think, so what I'll do for lips is I'll usually put um, a chapstick <laughs> on or aqua for um, maybe something very tinted or something, if I'm going to a professional setting, um, I don't have check, like a lip product in here just because um, I have it in like my work bag and stuff like that, so, yep. And then, yes, I think last step. Last step is we're going to use the e.l.f. Illuminating Mist and Set. So, and I don't usually do my eyebrows because I'm, I'm pretty lucky in the eyebrow department and now it looks like I have gray hair. I'm pretty lucky in like the eyebrow department um, and I inherited some pretty good brows so I don't have to do them, which is pretty great. Alright guys, so uh, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will warn you, I, I really did warn you and you already watched it. so. There was limited editing because I'm filming this the night before it needs to go up. And this is a very quick makeup routine for you guys to learn how to do um, when you only have a few minutes or you're in the car or anything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I make all kinds of videos all the time. And um, my Instagram is linked down below, and my dog's Instagram is linked down below. And somewhere on the screen is a little subscribe button. Somewhere on the screen is my last video. And uh, somewhere on the screen is last week's video. Just somewhere, I'll put it wherever I want, wherever I think will fit best. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye!